Hey guys, Joe Cannon from SupplementClarity.com and in today's video conversation, I want to talk about a topic that no one has ever asked me in over 20 years of investigating dietary supplements and here it is. Does creatine, creatine supplements, cause your hair to fall out? Uh, again, I, I've never been asked this before, and when it, when it crossed my computer screen the other day, I thought, well, let's take a look at this. And um, what I want to do in this quick video is show you what I discovered. I'm going to show you the research linking creatine supplements to hair loss, and I'm also going to show you the problems with that research so you can make a more informed decision for you. So why, first off, do they say creatine causes hair loss? The logic goes like this. We've known for a long time that hair loss is linked in some people to elevated levels of DHT. DHT is a metabolite of testosterone. And so high levels of DHT appear to be linked to hair loss in some individuals. Well, there is also some evidence that creatine might raise DHT levels. So if hair loss is linked to DHT and creatine raises DHT, ergo creatine causes hair loss. Um, again, um, let, let's take a look at this uh, research before we make any judgments. Here's the research linking creatine to elevated levels of DHT. This is a study that came out in 2009 uh, from South Africa. It involved 20 rugby players who took a placebo for three weeks or creatine for three weeks, and they measured their DHT levels. Well, lo and behold, interestingly enough, they found that the DHT levels in these rugby players was 56% higher during the loading phase of creatine. That's when they took 25 grams for the very first week. And, and then the DHT levels dropped to about 40% higher than normal levels during the maintenance phase when they were taking five grams of creatine per day uh, for the remainder of the study. This is pretty interesting, but I, I looked, at, looked at the study and I had some questions. Number one, this study did not measure hair loss. It only measured DHT levels. I want to point that out because this is the study people say is the reason why creatine causes hair loss, but they didn't even look at hair loss. They only looked at DHT levels. They're different. Now, the other thing you want to look at is it only had 20 guys in this study. It wasn't 100 guys, 1,000 guys, or it was, it was just 20. So generally, when you look at research, the more people in the investigation, the more believable the outcome might be. That said, dietary supplement studies usually don't have a lot of people, so I can give them a pass on that. Uh, the other thing I would say is it involved only guys, so any women who are watching this and saying, hey, is creatine caused a uh, woman's hair to fall out, there's no evidence either way of that. Again, this only looked at guys. The, one of the things that a lot of people don't talk about with this study is that testosterone levels didn't change at all uh, in the people when they were taking uh, creatine supplements. This I thought was odd because DHT comes from testosterone. So if if DHT levels went up, how come they didn't notice any increase in testosterone levels? Eh, just something that occurred to me. But while we're on the topic, there are people who do say that creatine raises testosterone. This study said, no, it didn't. Uh, the other thing I, I, that I want to throw out to you is that this study came out in 2009. Here we are at 2018 as I say these words. And my question is, where's all the other creatine raises DHT studies out there? I did some searching on clinical databases like PubMed and I couldn't find any. So this study by itself appears to be the only study who is, that has ever documented that creatine supplements raise DHT levels. Uh, another thing that I want to throw out with this study is, um, why wasn't it ever replicated? How come when this interesting observation was found, nobody wanted to go back into the lab and test it again? I don't have any clear-cut answers on this. Uh, research didn't say either way. I'm wondering if this study was maybe somebody's dissertation or master's thesis uh, that was required to get out of graduate school. And it quite possibly could be the person did the study and then graduated, got a real job, and forgot all about this research. It's possible. I don't know either way. It's just something that uh, that, uh, that, that, that jumped out of me as when I was reading the, reading the study. But DHT levels aside, what about hair loss? You can say creatine causes an elevation of DHT. Okay, that's nice. But does it actually cause someone's hair to fall out? I looked into this and I can't find any study that has actually looked at hair loss with creatine. So to be honest with you, I can't say either way because the research doesn't seem to have been done. And I'm quite surprised at that considering all the, the hoopla about DHT levels and creatine. So uh, if you are a graduate student and you're watching this video right now, wondering what you want to do your master's or your master's thesis or, di or dissertation about, this would be a good topic. Hint, hint, wink, wink send me an email if you ever do this research. But again, that's the big question. Uh, everybody says that, you know, there may be something to it, but until somebody researches it in, in a laboratory, I can't say either way. 
That said, if you've taken creatine, but taken it for a long time, haven't noticed any more hair in the drain or in the sink, I'm not worrying about this. Um, again, no studies have looked at this, but there's only one study that noted an elevation of DHT levels. So whether or not that's a real effect or not, I'm honestly not sure of. But if you're real paranoid about this, go to the doctor, get your DHT levels checked. What the heck? Can't hurt. Uh, and, and then do it again in a couple months after taking creatine. Let's see if things changed. Let me know if it did, by the way. And, and then if you really want to be extra careful in this, forget the loading phase, just do the maintenance phase if you're taking creatine. To be quite honest with you, I've never bought into the loading phase. Uh, I, I don't think it's necessary. There's research that shows the maintenance phase works just as well as the loading phase, just takes a little bit longer. So uh, if, if nothing else, that'll at least save you a little bit of money. So hey, that, that's all I got for you guys. If this video helped you, share it with your friends so they know this information as well. If you want to see the entire review that has all the links to all the research I looked at, I'll put a link to my my, my, my research on the, on the website and you can check it out there. Uh, but that's it. If you got a question, leave a comment below, leave a comment on the website and I'll answer you myself. Hopefully this helped you. I'm Joe Cannon. Have yourself a fantastic day.